Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been an age <laughs> since I have filmed. I actually just had to have a look where the zoom was on my camera because it's been that long. It is a heat wave here. So I have my water. It's very warm. Um, and my hair's a little bit extra curly down here today. Um, I used the Dyson Air Wrap and then killed, like pinned it to go to sleep. So yeah. We're experimenting with that, don't ask me for any tutorials. Um, but today, um, I know lots of you have been asking for like a um, life update and obviously to meet the little one. Um, there are some pictures and things on Instagram if you want to go and have a look over there. And I do have a what's in my hospital bag coming and I will start vlogging as well. I might even start today. But today, I have got a another unboxing with Social Little Thing um, who represent a load of amazing brands and you know I've done unboxings with them before. Um, sorry if you can hear Luna in the background meowing her head off as well because she is hungry for her breakfast. I know Adam's going to give that to her in a second. Um, but yeah, there are amazing brands in here that I need to share with you today. So we're going to get in. I, they always send it in like my favourite colour box as well. I have a collection of these upstairs now which um, are going into William's room actually <laughs> but let's get inside and we'll pull out we'll just go from the top bottom and see what we've got first package and the thing that I love about this is there are always brands in here that some of them I know and I love and I have been using for years and then other ones are brand new and I feel like that's you know, that's the great thing about things like this, is that I get to introduce you to brands that you might not have already heard of from myself or somebody else. And um, yeah, we can find out some new brands together. So we have got, ooh, We Love Lashes, hashtag We Love Lashes on here. And these are very nice lashes. Okay, so, um, amazing glue and um, the duo glue which um, I've got this in black and white as well like a, a dual one I think upstairs as well which I think actually came from social little thing last time and um, but this is the white and oh my gosh this is like so thin the applicator on this um, brush on strip lash adhesive so really really thin applicator which it's great for your lashes so let's have a look at the lashes we've got five sets of lashes from Red Cherry Lashes, which are 100% human hair. And these are ranging from, okay, I love these type of lashes. The lashes that are like not a full lash, they're kind of like a half lash. Um, and these, I would place these like on the outer part of my eye, um, just to add that thickness and that little flick at the end. So yeah, I would be putting these on straight away. Then the next ones that come into me these are called oh sorry the last ones are called charlie and then these ones are called demi wispy and i love wispy lashes um i've got a little collection of lashes upstairs now i'm waiting for me to be able to you know go out and actually live life <laughs> i know england are at that point but at the same time guys numbers are rising so we'll see what happens and um, but yeah these ones are demi wispy ones and i i would wear these like now i would put these ones on now these are lovely then we've got another wispy ones which is called wispy <laughs> so these ones are just a little bit like the wisp goes longer really good if you don't have a lot of lashes on the inner part of your eye really great for those then the next two that we've got this one's called harley which are some they look a bit shorter these ones do and then the final one is wow well, these are like some drama lashes these look amazing so i can't see a name on these a name on these but i'll give you a close-up so that you can see exactly what they look like but these like you know that i normally go for like eyelore lashes uh, but these i haven't heard of these before so these look really good quality so maybe we can put these on in a makeup video together and um see what they look like okay so then we're going into elegant touch and elegant touch a brand that i say you know really good quality um, and they're not crazy prices either and you know that I don't like crazy colours so we have got today uh, first of all a brush on nail glue haven't heard of that before why haven't I heard of that before this is from elegant touch brush on nail glue extra strength bond 
ping free <laughs> helps repair your broken nails so I'll be using that when I use nails although I've been doing gel nails recently but because these are nude and a little bit sparkly and I don't have sparkly nail varnishes this would probably be a great idea for a special occasion okay so this one's called rosé all day and you've got those sparkles at the top there but still looking really elegant and then the next one ooh, I really like the colour glitter on these so this is like kind of like a rose gold glitter and it's just on the two nails but so I assume you put on your ring finger but you can pop them on any finger there um, and again a lovely pale pink these are called Prosecco Poppin so natural nude you know looking great and then we've got two elegant touch nail files these are great nail files because they are curved normal nail files are not and um, as a trained beautician, guys, you don't go back and forth across. You're supposed to do like half the nail at the time. Um, well, the things have changed, but hey, yeah, half a nail at the time and um, in that di kind of direction. So um, really, really good design on those. And I've used those beforehand. They're great. I've still got some that I'm using at the moment in my drawer upstairs. But definitely, you know, elegant touch are the go-to for nails. Okay, so then next we have got some products to try called Skin in Motion. Exercise friendly skin wear. Now you might be able to hear my little boy in the background. I'm saying my little boy because I don't know if you know his name over here. Um, and that'll be a nice surprise on the next video if you don't. But um, yeah, you might be able to hear him in the background now. He's just about to have his breakfast. Um, yeah, so this is called Skin in Motion. And Skin in Motion, my friends, may be being used because I am going to be starting to do some exercise soon to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. So we have got a pink sort of keyring here, like a clip on, a clip keyring. So I wonder if that means that some of these items clip inside. So the first one is Cool Mint Tinted Lip Balm, SPF 30 because nobody wants those old looking lips. Everyone forgets about their lips. You know, when you, even I do, to be fair, when you put um, SPF on your face. But Skin in Motion, exercise friendly skin wear. So this is a tinted protective lip balm that, to be, that looks absolutely great. So I suppose this kind of thing that you can clip on to like your gym bag or something. So you can, it's there, it's ready to go. That's really handy. Then we have got Waterproof Mascara. I will be trying this because I always go back to the same Waterproof Mascara because all of my mascaras tend to sort of come off underneath my eyes and um, where I've got hooded lids as well, they always, um, I'm molting as well, people. Molting like I don't know what postpartum. Um, yeah, it always sort of comes up underneath my brow as well, but yeah, this will be really good to try. So Lift It Waterproof Mascara. This has a nice brush, okay, so it's curved. It's not too big and bulky, so you're gonna get right close to those lashes, but it's also not absolutely tiny that it's not gonna do anything. And then we've got a tinted moisturizer. Oh my gosh. Like a full face going on here. A lovely color as well. So I had something like this before and it didn't quite work. So technology's come a long way since then. If this is sweat proof, this is going to be definitely something that I will be trying. So sweat proof, breathable and nourishing. Okay, what we'll do is we'll probably try these out together. So we'll put on the lashes with this makeup here and we'll see what they look like together. We'll try those. Then we've got some of my faves for eyeshadows over here. Urban Decay palette. I don't have this palette. This is the E what palette is this called wild west looks like some oh my gosh how cool is that okay so this has got like a snake pattern across the front and then inside oh wow i love those copper colors okay always appreciate the nudes at the front here the lighter colors but then we've got these beautiful deep copper colours and I love like an orangey type eye and um, it's always like quite flattering on me um, rather than sort of any other colours. Um, and then also this really deep colour here at the end looks really interesting called Pony Up. Um, yeah, so that might be one that you want to go and have a little look at because Urban Decay 
eyeshadows always last really well they're really pigmented and i always feel you get quite a bit of product as well for your money um and you can make so many different looks with these type of palettes as well so i have building up a lovely little collection of these palettes upstairs Ooh, okay so there's some information about skin in motion as well and they have been featured in a lot of magazines and newspapers as well cosmo red hello women's health sheer lux i'm not quite sure what that one says there the daily express wow you that one says you you magazine um how amazing is that though oh and you, you can get this from oliver bonus look fantastic and amazon so if you're looking to pick these up yourself get on over there and have a little look i will have links to everything in um the down bar below for you to go and have a little look at as well then we have got two skincare ranges i believe and i am going to say this incorrectly this one it comes in a lovely little bag i really appreciate these little bags as packaging instead of like plastic so wa wafito wafito um, if you know how to say that, you're welcome to correct me. But there are two products in here, and I really like the packaging so far. It kind of looks like like recycled cardboard kind of effect, so maybe it is. I really need to look into this brand a little bit more. But it says made in Japan, so this, ooh, how nice is that? This is the kind of skincare that you want sat on your dresser or in your bathroom oh my goodness look at the two of those together can you imagine like the whole range just sat out how amazing is that going to look wow okay so i need to find out what these are exactly okay so the first one that i have pulled out here is a toner after washing the face gently apply three to four pushes to the entire face oh i am very very interested in trying this type of skincare that's what the pump looks like i definitely need to give you a little bit more of a, of a review on that one when i'm using it because i'm 100 percent going to use these and this is regina facial milk so after applying toner take two to three pushes and apply it gently on the entire face so yeah we will definitely have to look into um the ingredients for these okay some lovely lovely ingredients in here actually but I am very impressed with the packaging on those. Very impressed indeed. And then finally, we have got a brand called Hug. And we've got three different items to have a little look at today. So uh, these are a CBD brand. So things we know about CBD is that they are antioxidant, anti-sebum, the skin conditioning and skin protection. So the first little product we're going to pick up is CBD oil spray and this is says hint of berry So I'm assuming this smells sort of really fruity. There is a little oil in here This is 6% and you get 10 ml in here. This says chew spray into the tongue and hold for 60 seconds So that might be something that you'd be interested in trying then we have a coffee body scrub which especially at this time of year we all want to have nice glowing legs as well so if you do shave your legs this might be something that you'd be interested in so a coffee body scrub youthful skin glow and smoothing and stimulating so vitamin c and e and hyaluronic acid as well so really good ingredients there um, to be making your skin nice and smooth and then finally we have the Hug Clay Face Mask, Youthful Skin Glow, Hydrating and Clarifying. So this says it removes toxins while conditioning, conditioning you to make you feel and to look more fab, anti-sebum and protects the skin. Okay, so you've got a lovely skin mask there as well. It sounds like it might be like really detoxifying as well. Leave for five minutes, rinse with warm water and pat dry. So a brand there that I haven't heard of that you might be interested in going and have a little look at. Again, links will be in the description box below. And there's some information on them that says they help to support well-being, maintaining beautiful skin, helping to bring out the beauty from within, and maintain a daily 
calm. That sounds like a great brand ethos to me. So that is everything that I have to share with you today. Some brands that we know and love and also some new ones you to go and have a little look at as well. Let me know if there's something from this little haul that you would like to go and have a look at yourself. Thank you to Social Little Thing as well to send these products over to me. I will review them as well and share them with you guys. Let me know what you want to see from me. I know lots of you who have run Instagram have said like vlogs, daily life stuff, which is definitely going to come your way. But yeah, please let me know. But thank you so much for coming back to my channel and I will speak to you very soon. Have a lovely day. Bye guys.